What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here, and we are in storage right now. So it looks a little crazy down here. It looks a little dark down here, but we are in storage. And the reason why we're down here, guys, look at how many DVDs, CDs, video games, and all this stuff that I bought. This box fell over. All this stuff that I bought from that huge haul are still sitting down here. We have box sets of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We have Foils War. I don't know what half this stuff is. We have so many DVDs and we have this massive box of vintage computer video games. We actually have two big boxes here. Wing Commander, um, Microsoft Golf, nothing special there. Heroes of Might and Magic, Myst, uh, Ages of Myst, just a bunch of games, right? We have two huge bins that I have to go through. I don't believe any of this is worth much on its own, but I wanna sell it all as a big lot. And this is kind of more motivation for me because it's been far too long since I bought this stuff and I still haven't gotten through all of it. Now you guys do remember, I bought almost 10,000 pieces, right? 10,000 pieces of CDs and DVDs. So I did get through a lot of them. I've sold a lot of DVDs. I've sold a lot of CDs on Amazon. The DVDs went on eBay, but a lot of them weren't worth it. A lot of DVDs, I'm I mean, I'm restricted in all DVDs on Amazon, so I can't even sell them there. So it's a pain to list every single one. So I've thought of multiple ways to get rid of this stuff. I've tried selling it in bulk, no takers. I try a buck a piece on local markets, no takers. I even, with the box sets, a buck a piece, no takers. Any DVD sellers that want to get in contact with me, please get in contact with me because I don't know why these things aren't moving. Um, Definitely some amazing finds here. I've sold some of them on eBay. I'm really trying to only sell ones that are going for around $10 and more. Uh, I'm invested about 50-ish cents or less a piece into these because a lot of them were not really worth the um, money. So a lot of them went to the trash, a lot of discs were missing and things like that. But not only do I have these CDs and DVDs, we also have boxes filled with miscellaneous stuff that came along with this lot that I still have to get through, guys. We have a child guard thing. We have, I believe there's a camera in here. Yes, there is. There's a camcorder in there. A uh, brand new pack of playing cards. I know that's not worth much. We have puzzles. We have motherboards digital media copiers, another puzzle in here, more puzzles. So it came with a bunch of stuff. There's actually something more over here. Here we go. It came with a bunch of board games as well. So I gotta count all the pieces in these. Uh, I thought that was new, it's not. I gotta count all the pieces in these. This one's new, don't think it's worth much though. We gotta get these things listed because they're just sitting here and not making any money. Here's a bunch of the DVDs. There's some uh, DVD sets right there so this is more motivation for me to get listing let me show you guys the stuff that's not worth it all right so we got more light over here you could see this huge thing huge bin filled with cds i mean this is a pretty big bin and it is filled none of these are worth anything i didn't look up the uh cds without cases just because uh, it looks like most of them are burned anyways but um these are not worth it. Try selling them at a buck a piece, no takers. These boxes are filled with DVDs. So if I am to open it, without opening it all the way, you could see, right? They're stacked in there. There are so many DVDs in this box, in this box, in that box, also in this box. So we have so many DVDs that I have to get through. Oh wait, we have another box right there and another box right there, all filled with DVDs. Now, like I said, it's harder for me to sell the DVDs because they have to go over onto eBay, which means I have to list them, take pictures, do all this crazy stuff. It takes a while, especially if they're not going for a lot of money. It's not worth my time. So my main method that I think to get rid of these things would have to be a flea market. Go to a flea market, haul them all in my trunk, pay 15 to 20 bucks for a booth, set them all up a buck a piece, and try to make a couple hundred bucks over a Saturday or something, just to get rid of a lot of them. Now pawn shops, I've called to every single pawn shop in the area, and there is 
one that's near me that'll pay 30 cents per DVD, per DVD. So that's kind of the best option right now. I think that is what I'm gonna do with all the leftovers, 30 cents per DVD. Um, he probably won't pay 30 bucks, uh, 30 cents for every single one because I have hundreds if not thousands left. So I really need to figure out what I'm gonna do to get rid of these. So just real quick and for fun, we're gonna pull out my phone, go to the Amazon seller app and see how much like five random things are worth. You know what, we'll scan these right here and then we'll compare the price difference from Amazon to eBay. So that's the thing, there's always gonna be a difference from Amazon to eBay. So let's pull up the scanner. All right, there we go. So restricted of course. 825 no FBA offers it's two bucks so you know this is not worth that much I'm getting a phone call so I just flipped this over it's a Beatles DVD brand new sealed which is awesome obviously you know anything brand new sealed is gonna go for more money so we're gonna scan it into Amazon take a quick look here it's not on Amazon really let's try scanning it one more time so that's not actually on Amazon so this might be something that would do really well over on eBay. So we're gonna take a quick search and see what this bad boy is going for. All right, so I just looked it up on eBay. Brand new, $7, really, not even. So a lot of these guys, just not worth it. Not worth it to sell. Gotta go a buck a piece, right? A buck a piece at a local place. Now some of these sets are worth some money in here. Uh, like the Buffy the Vampire Slayers, if I sell them all together. Some of the sealed box sets can be worth some money. Um, but this is stuff that I really have to go through, guys. And we really got to figure this out. So this video was more uh, motivation for me, but also to show you guys the kind of stuff that I'm working with all the time, always working with new options, new things. I mean, I have this box right here just filled with puzzles and stuff. So I gotta sort through all those, send this stuff off to Amazon, and I'll update you guys soon uh, with how I end up selling this stuff. A lot of these DVDs, guys, just not worth it to sell. If I was able to on Amazon, yeah, there, some of them are going for much more on Amazon than they are eBay. Plus, you just put them in a box, ship them off. It's really easy to send them into Amazon FBA. eBay is a little more strenuous, especially because you have to store them all. Now, I already have them in storage, so that's not that big of a deal, but it still uh, adds up when you have to categorize them all, put them on a shelf in the office, put them where all your inventory goes. It can take up a lot of space. So. I'm gonna figure this out. Maybe we'll do a flea market. That'd be kind of cool. Would you guys be interested in that? Maybe I'll film a little flea market vlog. Uh, that'd be cool. Never done that. Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thrift School, sign out. See ya.